famous director just invited me to be become superheroes. Today I will show you this trick. Do I look like more? <laughs> Woo! Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. You know that a couple days ago I published a video about uh, Ant-Man disappearing in fact or flying up the sky like Thor. Thor of, 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 of Avenger. So I think it, I just make it for fun because uh, you know that when making tutorial I'm, I'm feel a little bit boring because uh, every day I make the same tutorial about Filmora, about uh, software. So uh, I just uh, want to uh, to make some special effect. Uh, but some of uh, some of you asked to to have a tutorial on that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the trick uh, like Thor, fly, uh, flying up the sky like Thor. In that uh, in that video, so I think that uh, easy, easy when it comes to uh, filming. I just uh, walk around the house and then jump up the sky. Jump. It look like I'm I'm flying up, but uh, actually I just uh, jump and and fall falling down. Um, and uh, the interesting part is the uh, editing. So I'll, I'm going to show you in Filmora 9. And also you need one one more software that is the photo editors. Any any photo editor uh, which lets you let you remove the background of uh, of the, the image is should be okay. So in this case, I'm using uh, Photoshop, but you can also use any other other photo editor. Any other photo editor, maybe you uh, search online uh, background remover or, or something like that, and you can uh, find a software for you. And I, I'm going to show you Filmora 9. So. Here is the editing timeline. So let's um, let's see the part that I'm flying up the sky. So uh, and the other is the same. Uh, disappearing effect in uh, like the Ant Man is the same. So in this tutorial, we are uh, concentrate on uh, flying up the sky like Thor. Here's let's preview it. That's easy, right? And here you see that uh, at the beginning I, I didn't do anything. I'm just uh, walking uh, around the house and fly so I, i'm going to explain a little bit about the the timeline so you can um, follow the step easier here we, we have a dust dust up one which is an overlay i just put it on on top track to create uh, some smoke and just like something that i fly up and then uh, under my feet there's some smoke uh, explode uh, that easy and at the end of the uh, of the smoke i put a this soul transition so it, it disappears slowly and here we have another layer is blur blurring effect because when we uh, when we keyframe our image uh, to fly up the sky uh, we need some uh, motion blur for our image and down below is the image you see that here the first image let's straight out the timeline a little bit so you can see it better here's the first image and this is the second image and the third image and the fourth image so on the timeline you can easily recognize that uh, it is just an image of me without background without background and i'm i'm just uh, keyframing it uh, so it's uh, flying up uh, slowly okay and down below i have a, a video track of me jumping and when I finish jumping uh, when I fall down I just uh, cut cut the clip and re, uh, and put an empty shot without me uh, under it so this shot for example if I hide the, the image track you see that it's just an em empty track so I, I shot um, on the on the tripod so my camera angle uh, didn't change so it just uh, stay there okay and down below we have some uh, sound effect here the sound effect uh, sound effect design we we are not going to talk about sound design in this tutorial and here we have a music um, background music and also this is the, um, the audio of the video where uh, we're talking something a famous director a famous director invited me to be uh, to be his bec uh, to become his superhero something like that I just detect the audio of the video because I want to use it in my video and it is another sound effect yeah so 
let's delete this timeline okay but before doing that i need to save it as a new project okay and save it a new new project because i want to use this project uh, later save f save as tall flying up the sky okay and then save it takes uh, some moment okay okay then it's finished now i'm going to delete that delete all the timeline here delete and i'm doing it again uh, start from uh, the beginning so you see everything uh, i did in this tutorial okay first thing first we need a clip here's the clip uh, we i mentioned uh, before i just walk around you see that i have to turn on the camera then All right, so let's drag and drop that uh, this clip onto the timeline. Okay, I will put it on the first track and open all the track uh, above it, and let's play it. So let's play until the uh, until I find the posi position where I jump. Okay. Uh, Thor, he's uh, he, he's holding a, a hammer and he's uh, spinning around his uh, hammer and then he flies the sky. But I now I use just I use my belt. <laughs> okay. Then stop where I jump, jump up the sky. Okay, and then we take a, a snapshot. Uh, take a snapshot. Use this button. Take a snapshot. Right. Then split the clip. Uh, but before splitting the clip, uh, I highly recommend that you uh, remove the audio or detach the audio so you can use the audio later. So you don't split the, the audio, okay? And let's right click on the video and select uh, detach audio. So we have one audio track and uh, one uh, video track, and now we split the uh, video track right here. And okay, so that is the first step. Okay, take a snapshot and split the, the video at the position when I jump, jump up the sky. Okay, then play. Yeah, you see that I fall it down, and uh, it doesn't matter. We find another position where no one in the shot. Okay, this one, no one in the shot, so it's an empty shot with the same camera angle. Then split again and delete the thing that we don't need okay and then we move move the empty shot to this position so let's see it again okay it just disappeared but now i'm going to put some image on it okay at this position right let's find the position where it's okay this one and now we have we have a snapshot right uh, let's find it here is this here is the snapshot uh, let's review it in, in Explorer. Okay, so it's, it is here. Now we need the photo editor, right? I'm going to use Photoshop. So here is my Photoshop where I, I normally use to make my thumbnail. Okay, let's create a new image. Go to File, New. And here we, uh, we can select Custom. So I'm going with uh, 1080p and 300 ppi. It's okay. And the background content, we can go with white or anything, but we go with transparent background in this case, okay? Go to transparent, all, all the other you can leave by default and then go to create. So we have a new image here and then go to the snapshot folder and drag and drop that, that image into Photoshop. Just drop it and then click this button to say okay. And now we need to, to remove the background. Just keep me in the frame. In this case, I'm going to use a pen tool, Photoshop pen tool here. We can click on this pen tool or you can press P on your keyboard. Uh, let's click on that. So make sure that you select path at this position. Uh, we have shape, path and pixel, but we are going to use path, okay? And then draw a mask around me. Just a wrap, wrap mask, no need to be precise. So I'm going to draw it right here.
All right, so here we have the mask. All right, and now we know we need to go to part uh, on the right. And here's the work part, and we need to click on this button to uh, create a uh, load part as a selection. All right, and click on that, and then go back to the layer. And here we need to click this one to add a layer mask, right? And that's it done. So it's remove the the background. Just keep uh, me in the frame in in the image, and then click five and go to export and export as so I'm going to export it to a PNG a PNG image a transparent background okay and now go to export let's say it uh, tall uh, fake tall tall I'm not I'm not tall so it's fake <laughs> okay uh, let's put it on the desktop and uh, save and just uh, one moment and it's uh, done okay it's done now uh, now we need to bring that image into Filmora so let's find it on desktop and we have uh, fake tall yeah here here it is so let's bring it into Filmora let's bring it drag and drop it into here so we have here and before we uh, bring the the image down to the timeline we need to check uh, check th the preferences on file go to preferences and then go to the editing uh, be sure that photo placement turn it to crop to fit okay otherwise it, it will have a pan and zoom so you click on crop to fit and select ok and now you can drag and drop it uh, right in at the position where I disappear all right so here is the image so let's play it again you see that uh, I'm freezing here but now we need to keyframe it but unfortunately we don't have keyframe 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 in uh, Filmora 9 so we have to do it manually just again manually so the first thing I want to move up the image just frame by frame but in this case I want to start slowly so uh, start slowly and um, and the speed increase uh, at the end okay so let's straight out the timeline all the way out and then first uh, we jump jump up and then on the first frame I want to go up a little bit so let's split uh, no, let's uh, select the the image double click on that and go to the image tab and go to transform okay so we have X and Y uh, so here for the X it control the horizontal of the, of the image horizontal line and for uh, Y it control the vertical vertical line something like that move move up up and down is uh, Y so here we put 10 right at the Y so then click OK so you see that my image just move up uh, a little bit and then at the first frame we split that now we go to the second frame so uh, select on the on the image select again and choose it 20 you see that and click OK so my image move move up a little bit more and go to the, the next frame and split and select the image now I want to start uh, faster uh, fly up faster then I select 40 here and then click OK OK and then go to the next frame I split again and select the image again and now I want to go by 60 again OK so just uh, half the frame right, right? and then go to this frame I split again just frame by frame that's what keyframing is is right so select it again but now I want to uh, to move faster right and double click on that now 60 we can uh, say 90 okay and click OK so it's move up and then go to the next frame and double click and now we go with 
140 just faster right and click OK and then we split the, uh, the image again and double click uh, now we want to go with 190 something like that and click OK so let's go up the sky right and then go to the next frame and split the, uh, the image again and double click on the image again and now I, I will go with 250 to move it out of the frame okay and click OK not yet out of the frame and we need to uh, we need one more keyframe right and split the, uh, the image again and now double click on the image and then to make sure it go out let's say 400 okay that's okay and now we can delete the rats so we are just created flying up the sky like Thor right here's the, the, the effect so that's easy right and now to make it a little bit real we need to add uh, smoke under my my feet uh, to do that we go again right here find the position where I jump up the sky at this position and then go to elements element right and now you can look in film stock so uh, it is a free uh, pack it must marshal as pet pack something like that so we can find us up number one right here and let's drag and drop it and put it right on on top layer right and be sure to shorten it so just like this uh, but we need to position the the dust under my feet so let's select the dust here and select it on the timeline but before doing that I highly recommend that you lock all the track under it so it will not move so just put the the, the smoke here all right let's play it review it look like look nice right Woo. But I, I also add now uh, one more thing is the, the blur effect because whenever we move our image without blur the motion blur it uh, look a little bit fake so now we, we need to add blur effect uh, we uh, select the effect and search at the included folder search for blur okay blur one and blur here basic blur or I'm, I use blur two Here, here is the effect I use uh, for my uh, my clip. So let's put it on top where I start jumping up and now. So that's finished. So that's easy, right? So I and now we need to export the uh, the project, and this is the result. <laughs> Famous director just invited me to be, become superheroes. Today I will show you this trick. Do I look like more? <laughs> Woo! I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.